getting questions about my uh, iPad and my how I use it as a fish finder and uh, my electronics and my full setup in general. So I decided to uh, put this together. Here are the basic pieces. Of course, the iPad with the waterproof case that has the mounting bracket on the back and then the mounting pedestal that that bracket slides into and then um, that's attached to the Scotty uh, fish finder mount here which is really just a plastic plate and uh, another smaller plate that the uh, sounder from the uh, Y fish is my actual fish finder and uh, this is a a uh, Wi-Fi connection to the iPad and of course this is a wired connection from the sounder to here. So uh, let me show you how it all gets mounted up. Okay so this part of it just goes into the pocket here. You don't have to actually see that or have anything to do with it. And then this just straps around the tube. Let's see. Straps always get goofed up. Alright. Just slide that underneath. The sounder stays up here for uh, transportation and everything and then once I actually get in the water then I just push it down so that it's uh, underneath the tube there and you can see the strap um, holds everything securely that's all secure and then the mounting bracket on here you can see goes right there so we just click that on and now that's locked securely in pace and that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so here's the Scotty mount. You can see the strap goes around. So you just slide this down here when you're out in the water <clears throat> and that's ready to go. And slide it back up here for uh, transportation. Okay, so here's my battery pack. This is the uh, Pelican 1200 case, waterproof case. And then I have the cable glands that provide the waterproof connection through the case. Um, the red and the black, the main battery connections, and then this is for the uh, iPad to power up. The reason that you want to give power to the iPad and not just run it off the battery is uh, because out on the water it's bright and so you want to run the iPad at the brightest settings and at the highest brightness. And uh, if it doesn't have power, it wants to keep uh, blanking the screen. So by giving it power, you can run it all day long and have the screen stay on all the time and not be a problem. Of course, you have to figure out some way to do that so kind of a kludge but it works I got a little cigarette uh, power thing here just wired it right into the battery and then this just plugs in and uh, that gives me power to the iPad it all folds down goes the other way.
and then go this has like really industrial strength ziplock closures here I like to give it just a little bit of slack Okay, and then this folds up, and you wouldn't want to immerse this in water, but it's watertight now in terms of splash. I've had waves break over it, and uh, not a problem at all. Very, very secure and watertight. So. Let's put that on the bracket. Here's the power cord for the Y fish. Okay, so there's the Y fish running away. That can just stay down in here. And that's my Raymarine Wi-Fi there. And here's my uh, Navionics. There's a Huntington Harbor where I was at last weekend. You can see I um, record and shows me leaving Seabridge Park and I went around basically went around the island and the whole trip was recorded Um, the Y fish is running, but it doesn't work if it's not in the water. So really not uh, much point. It really isn't going to do anything for us because we're not in the water. If we were, um, it would integrate um, with the Navionics and the, the screen would split and the Navionics is on top and the Ray Marine uh, fish finder is on the bottom. And um, I have video of that that you'll see here. The real key to making the iPad work is the waterproof case and a way to mount it. 
Uh, you could use like a, a spring style clamp um, mounting if you wanted to and any waterproof uh, case, but you'll end up spending around the same amount of money as you would for the Armor X, which is really nice in a graded system. Highly recommend it. Complete setup. Uh, showing the rod holder, including the camera mount. The personal flotation device required by law. And my fins and my net. I use an Ed Cummings fish friendly net.